can we talk about ethic entertainment na vile wamekuwa ki advertise their new album pale kwenye mitandao yao ya kijamii and this group of gengeton wame to promise the baddest album ever na kwenye hiyo album wameka majina kubwa kama Shoma Jozi kutoka South Africa na kuna Calligraph Jones himself pale na kwenye hiyo album pia kulikuwa na chance ya Octopizo kufanya kazi na wao lakini Octo isn't in that album you know why I'm here to give you the reasons why. Lakini kabla rejeelea kan mara yako ya kwanza kutazama video zetu, tafadhali make sure me subscribe. Na hiyo kengele tikaotokea hapo mbele, make sure umebonyeza pia. Ili uweze kupata our next trending stories. Waje tuseme tu kweli tangu Ethic Entertainment wanyimwe collab na Octopizo. Hawa vijana wamekuwa na majungu against this guy. Yaani umekuwa ukiona vile wamekuwa kirant sana pale kwenye Twitter, vile wanaonyesha Octopizo yuko chini na hatoshi mboga. Few hours ago ama few days ago, mliona vile Ethic Entertainment walisema kwamba Calligraph ndio kusema Octo ako chini. Eh? Na sasa few hours ago, Ethic Entertainment bado hajatosheka kumwaribia Octopizo CV pale kwenye Twitter. Pale kwenye Twitter wakisema kwamba Octo was given the privilege to work with them lakini akakataa. Akimwambia angekuja na hizo madhogo dhani huwa anaimba, angeshukuru tu bado. Na sasa mkisema you are giving the Octopus the privilege. Unajua privilege ni nini? Ni kama kusema you are doing him a favor to work with you. Hebu kwanza sikia vile hao vijana walisema pale kwenye Twitter. We gave Octopus the privilege to be on our super dope album but hakuona vision truth ni namba ziko but angekuja tu na zile madhogodhanio zake video for the song wasn't part of the plan all in all watch out june 13th album dropping big man bado ordinary ni mbuaya ni moto na sasa ukiangalia statement tu ya wase wanasema they were giving octopus the privilege man <laughs> anyway i'm here to give you the reasons why octopus declined this nini this uh, chance to work with ethic entertainment now if you remember very well few months ago octopus wake up pale 10 over 10 citizen tv show alipeana procedure on how you can work with him number one procedure is my you pitch a proposal it might take many years ndio ajibu hiyo proposal lakini wewe we pitch na hata pitia hiyo proposal angalia kama itatosha mboga ama itoshi na kama itatosha mboga atakupigia simu mfanye kazi na pia kasema number two The reasons why he won't work with any gengeton group any time or any day or forever. Akisema hivi anaendanga na move fulani. Akapeana example na Vikmas du Luo Dola. Akisema kwamba baada ya kumaliza kufanya kazi na, na Vikmas Luo Dola, that was a hangla feeling. No, no. If, if, if I'm going to do a collab with someone, either ni msajulikani so anakuja na style mpya so kai unaona banko tu like mm. uh, the stuff we did with said wanna do style different na yangu. So probably Sailor's Gang na no so mwisho wa Gengeton kufanya kazi na Octopizo. And you know very well ethic entertainment ni wasi wa Gengeton. And I'm um, tired procedure ilishakuwa imepeana na Octopizo not unless you're giving him a different style from what he had done before. And that's why they were denied the chance to work with Octopizo. So this explains why it might be hard for him to work with another Gengeton artist not unless you are an upcoming artist and you need a platform to grow. Lakini hapo mali wamesema they were doing him a privilege. Hiyo ni ni kama mnasema you are mnampatia yani you are doing him a favor. Na ukiangalia pale kwenye comment section wasio wanasema kwamba hii kitu haitaki makasiriko. Kwani was it a must octopus afanye kazi na wao? Lakini sielewi makasiriko ni ya nini? Labda wewe tuache maoni yako kwenye comment section tuambie. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.